Today is a cool day. Today, Adobe Muse CC came out. Today's June 18th, and up until now, we've been using Adobe Muse 4.0. This is technically the 5.0 release, but they have renamed it Adobe Muse CC because it's now part of the Creative Cloud subscription, all of which just came out today, June 18th. And one of the most exciting features, in my opinion, about Muse CC is the new parallax scrolling. What that means is you can actually set different speeds for different objects to scroll up, down, left, or right as the user scrolls through your web page. And that could be used in really, really advanced, complicated ways. I just want to show you guys a quick example of a simple, simple, easy way to apply this with a few layered objects. I've got a background here with some clouds. I also have a few foreground objects that are little puffs of cloud. And using Adobe Muse CC, I can select one of these objects, I can click on Effects at the top, and I have a new Effects palette here where I have Scroll Motion. And using Scroll Motion, I can set a few different parameters, the direction of the scroll, the speed of the scroll, whether or not the scrolling changes when the object reaches a different position on the screen. And that position can be set up here, so that can be customized even further. And right now I'm just going to do a quick demo of things scrolling at different speeds. So I've got this first cloud here scrolling at a speed of 1. That would be a normal scroll speed. That means as the user scrolls, the cloud goes up on the screen as expected. This cloud, however, let's take a look. I've got this cloud set to scroll at 1.3 times the speed of everything else. And then if I select this big cloud down here, I've got this one set, I believe, to scroll twice as fast. Yep, sure enough, scrolls twice as fast. And then my background, this part's kind of important, I've got my background set to scroll at half the speed of everything else. There's this new scroll palette on your browser fill. So I've got scroll motion turned on, I've got it going in an upward direction like normal and I have it set to go at half speed. So what that means is if I take a look at this in the browser, if I do a little uh, shift command E here to preview this web page in the browser, when I start to scroll down, it's not all gonna scroll together. As I scroll, everything goes at a different speed and it creates what looks completely three-dimensional. In real life, if a cloud were closer, it would scroll faster as you drove by in your car, as you flew by in your airplane. And if a cloud were further away, it would move slower, just like when the moon at night looks like it's not moving, even though it is. But the trees and light poles on the side of the road look like they're going very fast. Things that are closer move faster as we move by them. So we can now achieve that three-dimensional effect by having objects move at different speeds. This is really cool. I'm really excited about it, and I'm going to be creating a few tutorials here to show you how I built this in a little more detail, how I built a more interesting and complex version of this, and how to copy some of the effects that you may have seen by Nike and uh, a couple other uh, brands that have implemented this in the past using their own code. It's now so easy to do. You're going to love how easy it is to recreate some of those effects that you've drooled over in the past. So stay tuned. These tutorials are going to be coming very soon.